In this video we are going to draw a realistic crystal ball using only the oval tool. Let's get started. We select the oval tool, the shortcut for which is O. We draw a circle holding down the shift key as seen in the video. We scale it up a bit using the free transform tool, the shortcut is Q. We select the circle and press the F8 key to convert it into a symbol. We name it crystal ball. We double click to enter it. We now select the fill and go to the color palette on the right side of the screen, please see the video where the cursor points. We click on it and again click on the solid color. We select the radial gradient option. We double click on the left swatch and select yellow from the boxes. Please see the video for the exact shade of yellow. We click on the right swatch and sample the color of the left swatch. We darken the right swatch color as seen in the video. Using the gradient transform tool, the shortcut key for which is F. We adjust the gradient and move it on the top right side of our crystal ball. We come out of the symbol to see what this looks like. Looks good. We again enter the symbol. We will now add some highlights to it. We draw another circle on the side as seen in the video. We select our crystal ball and press Ctrl G to turn it into a group. We select the circle on the side and go to the color palette and change the color of both swatches to white. We turn the alpha of right swatch to zero. We turn the highlight into a group. We move the circle on the crystal ball as seen in the video. We scale it down using the free transform tool. We add another smaller highlight. Now we will need a shadow to define the ground plane. We draw another circle. We select and go to the color palette. We change the swatch color to black and the swatch alpha will be 40 and the left swatch alpha will be 0. We select the shadow and move it below the crystal ball. We stretch it using the free transform tool. Please see the video and follow. We draw another oval on the top part of the crystal ball. We select the oval shape and go to color palette and choose linear gradient there. We choose white and the alpha for the left swatch will be 40. We can see that the gradient is from left to right. We need it to be from top to bottom. So we will select the paint bucket tool and click on the top of the shape and drag to the bottom. The gradient will be adjusted from top to bottom. We will now copy the shape to the bottom and flip it vertical as seen in the video. We do the same as the above shape but the color here will be black as this is the dark side of the crystal ball. You can play with the values of the alphas to increase or reduce the intensity. You can also use a different color other than yellow if you like. We come out of the symbol and see the final result. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.